That Okonfo Anachi Teaching Hospital is a very powerful hospital. In Kumasi, we simply call it G. I don't know why it's called G. But the construction company that constructed is G. They call it G. And I'm told that the construction company that was employed to build the hospital was called G. So they named it after G, that construction company. But a more superior name is Komfo Anoche, the man who contributed to the upliftment of this country and even beyond. I respect that hospital. It's the only hospital in the world named after a so-called fetish priest. The whole world, not even in India, not in Benin, not in Nigeria. Kung Fu Anochi, the fetish priest Anochi, so-called. And when you go there, they built it at the right place where the sword that he inserted into the ground is still lurking around. The spirit of the man is still lurking around the area. My brother, my sister, I don't want to go into the history of that great man. But if you have such a hospital, recently they were talking about breaking down some buildings there because they were a danger to human habitation and so on and so forth. Let me take you a little bit back into history. Do you remember when babies were stolen from hospitals? Okonfo Anoche Hospital was the chief principal point of stealing babies. Babies were missing left, right, and center. In collaboration with nurses in the hospital, we were told. Babies were stolen. It was rife in the news. In fact, people from the Zongus in Kumasi, Asawasi, and the rest of those places went to demonstrate. In fact, they were ready to beat nurses there. We all remember how dead bodies, a.k.a. corpses, were left on the ground to rot. Worms coming out of the dead bodies, all because the mugs were full. Right there at Okonfo Anoche Teaching Hospital. With time, we've been able to climb the ladder of decency and respect for human lives. Today, we are told that there was a man lurking around the place claiming to be a medical doctor. How did he enter the place? Did he enter there wearing his crop dress? Or it was in his backpack, and when he entered, he decided to put it on. How many more such fake doctors are there? And fake nurses are there? My brother, my sister, how is the security situation like at Okonfo Anoche Teaching Hospital. My brother, my sister, we were in this country when one guy, in fact, working with SNIT, came with fake degrees. And he was there and took so much money, my brother, my sister, driving this country into an almost disreputable situation. Today, my brother, my sister, we also can look at some other side things happening in other hospitals. Can we beef out our security, especially in our hospitals? Imagine this guy has access to a man who has so much, the death of who will give him so much, especially that we live in a country where people are waiting for their uncles and fathers to die so they can inherit so much. Imagine this guy hired as a killer, an assassin. And he has such an easy access into the hospital. Listen, the hospital can pretend as much as it wants and try to defend itself because you are paid to talk. At the end of the day, the hospital still has a disreputable name of stolen babies 
and corpses lying on the ground, rotting up and worms coming out. In a decent society, this should never have happened. I leave it here. Can't